What's up guys, Grim here. I'm going to go over the Paragon build today, but I've received a few gifts, so I've got to uh, open them with you guys. This person wanted to remain anonymous, so we're going to keep it that way and open the gifts outside the mailbox. So let's get right into this. I love gifts. A 30 day patron pass. All right. Very, very nice. All right, let's see what the second gift is. A 30 day patron pass. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Two months of patron pass. What's this? Oh, the ice icebound steel bundle. That was in my wish list. Very cool. New wardrobe here. Ah. Uh, I'm not going to throw it on right this one second, but I will show you guys what it looks like. Uh, the icebound wardrobe looks like that right there. So I, I had taken around with the idea of getting that and recoloring it. So uh, like running a Tempest build or something like that. It'd be pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much. You know who you are. I know who you are. I really, really, really appreciate it. You rock, sir. Man, this is so cool. 60 days of Patreon pass and then this wardrobe. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right, guys. Let's get to the main video. All right, guys, it's time to go into the 61 Paragon build. This is a new and improved version of the last one that I did, and this is going to kill a lot better. Trust me, this one is going to absolutely one-shot healers a lot of the time. So I cannot wait to show you guys. Let's jump right into it. Let's open up this soul tree here. And as you can see, we went 61 into Paragon like usual. But we went 12 into Warlord this time, which is 5 points into Soldier's Might, 5 points into Strength of Arms, and 1 point into Combat Veteran so that you can block without a shield. And we went 3 points into Tempest, which is 3 points into Amped. So that's the Soul Tree there. If you guys want to see it uh, in a better view, I will have a link in the description below this video. So be sure to check out the description below the video because I have a lot of good links down there. And all the macros, the Soul Build, everything will be down there. Check it out. You'll love it. Alright, let's get into the macros themselves. Uh... 61 Paragon here. Here is the build macro. And uh, it casts like Shield of Will and stuff like that, so it always applies a shield to you at all times. Um, yeah, there, if you look at this video, I have a couple of the planar attunement uh, buffs in my macros, which I won't put them in the macros in the description below because a lot of you guys don't have the particular planar attunement abilities just throw them in there as you like if you want them in your macros but this is your builder macro and here is your finisher macro and we do have a ranged finisher here with skyfall because we went into the tempest build and yes tempest does require you to have uh, the Storm Legion Souls. So if you do not have them, you probably won't, uh, you won't have Tempest and you may not be able to run this build. Alright, this is our 15 second burst macro. This is the one that's going to be available every 15 seconds with Shifting Blades. And you're going to be able to do a really good burst on the people every 15 seconds. And if you're not familiar with what Shifting Blades does, it basically allows, whenever you use Shifting Blades with three combo points, the next three attacks you do are going to hit twice. But the second time that it hits, it hits for like, I don't know, 70%, something like that. Um, 75%. So it hits slightly less, but yet it's hitting a second time, so it's pretty hard. 
what we usually try to do is we try to put really hard hitting abilities right after shifting blades that way it's it's gonna hit really hard and yeah all right now this is the burst macro that I didn't include in the last 61 paragon video and I really should have but it's in this one and this is going to be the primary 61 paragon build for me uh, this is the one that is going to absolutely annihilate everybody that you see if you watch my video on one shotting healers this is the build this is the macro that I used now alacrity is only up every one minute so you have to make sure that you have shifting blades up as well so it's going to be one of those things that you can burst every 15 seconds with your other burst macro but in order to use this one you need to make sure that your shifting blades is going to be active which is why i've got it at the bottom down here uh showing shifting blades so i can see that it's up and whenever i see my second uh macro is ready to go too um I can use this big burst and it is going to absolutely annihilate people. You have no idea how hard this hits. Because let me spell it out for you. Okay. Shifting blades makes your next three attacks hit twice. Correct? All right. Alacrity makes your reaping harvest hit twice. So, you can see where this is going. Combat focus makes your reaping harvest hit 50% harder. Grasping the horizon makes your uh, attacks able to be cast from a range. So now that finisher, if they try to get away from you, now you can hit them at like a 20 meter range. So if they see you popping all this stuff and they're like, oh, we are getting out of here, good luck with that because we're popping grasping the horizons and we can hit you from a range with this insane amount of damage and uh of course death touch which is going to debuff them going to snare them and then comes the reaping harvest that is going to probably kill them and our next macro is our charge macro which this doesn't have much for charges unfortunately but yeah <laughs> this is just such an insane build right here uh thread the trees is the normal charge that you have this thunderous leap is a planar attunement uh leap it's not really a charge but if you're uh it, it pretty much is i mean it's not the same as thread the trees but it does work much like a charge and if you're of the bomby race you might even have the mighty leap which you can put into it just like the thunderous leap macro here with the gtae macro uh, format so that's our macros right there all right let's go into our buffs we got turn the blade always have turn the blade on because with this with all these abilities that you're going to be using and so much dps and stuff uh if you don't have turn the blade on you're going to run out of power or run out of energy in no time it'll be a huge failure on your part trust me and also with us going so high into paragon we can reduce the the damage reduction that is the penalty part of turn the blade because normally you hit 33 percent softer so to say your damage is reduced by 33 percent well once you go up high enough into paragon you can reduce that to 20 percent so now we're hitting 20 percent uh reduced damage but we are just going to annihilate people trust me you have no idea i cannot stress this enough you are going to kill everybody with this build and uh this is pretty much the most bursty build in the game and that is taking into account pyro and all that stuff all right our second uh i better get back to the buffs the second buff here is defensive posture uh focus of body way of the mountain way of the mountain is going to allow you to keep on people this uh it'll make you immune to any knockbacks and stuff like that and it's also going to make you take five percent less damage so otherwise whenever you're getting on these people and doing all this burst they cannot peel you they cannot knock you back they cannot do that stuff you're just going to be on them and those 
you feel bad for the target trust me all right and uh way of the wind is another buff that we're using enhanced conductivity and of course all your guild and planar buffs now there are two other buffs that you can use uh if you feel like you're not getting enough heals or you just need a little bit more healing going on uh you can instead of using defensive posture you can put on recovery posture which makes your builders heal for eight percent of your attack power now that's not really all that great normally but whenever it's combined with way of the sun which makes your follow-up attacks heal the paragon for 20 percent of attack power whenever you combine those two it is really pretty good healing put it that way now in order to uh, put on way of the sun you may have to replace it with uh, way of the mountain so instead of putting on way of the mountain you put on way of the sun all right let's get into how this build works here so uh let's turn around and let's pick on this target right here now your normal rotation is going to be builder finisher kind of stuff but whenever you're ready to burst you can hit your first burst macro and it's going to hit for a lot of damage but whenever you are ready to just absolutely annihilate somebody and you know that your shifting blades is up we're going to hit our second macro which is going to be an insane amount of damage let's go over our bars real fast uh on my bar real, real fast we have uh the builder macro we have the finisher macro uh the first burst the second burst macro uh flurry I don't use that too often, but yeah, sometimes I like to use it. It's it's not a bad attack, uh, which it's also a 20 meter range. So if somebody's staying right out of your range, then you can use that because really you don't have all that much going for disconnects, uh, such as you pretty much have one charge and one pull. So you don't really have a lot of if you're used to warlord you don't have all that much to bridge the gap normally so flurry is pretty good if somebody's just staying right out of your range um then we have our charge macro we have sergeant's order which is our pull and we have fleet of foot which increases our movement speed by 50 percent uh you can use that to go after people as in trying to get the kills but i usually save that just in case i get into trouble that way i can run away and yeah, don't die because too many people put this in their macros for attacking and that means that whenever they get in trouble they're just going to die and then they're going to complain later that this build doesn't work so all right and then we have break free on a separate button do not put it in your macros people all right and then we have flinching strike which is our interrupt uh wrist strike which is our uh, it debilitates for five seconds and then we have predictable movements which stu which stuns the target for four seconds so we've got a lot of cc with this so that means that you're going to make it really easy to kill them and them not be able to kill you all right so let's say we go right up to the target we charge in we build up our combo points which we're just hitting our builder right now okay so we got three combo points as you can see and i'm spamming the builder i mean even while i'm explaining this to you i'm spamming the builder and as you can see my energy is not going down normally on a warlord build or anything else it's really uh, energy starved and with turning the blade on it's saving us all this energy all right we're going to go into a burst now we're going to we've worked our target down a little bit and we want to go ahead and try to finish them off with a normal burst so we're going to hit our first burst macro which is every 15 seconds we can use this now so burst burst and you keep hitting it until you get three combo points as you can see i hit a lot of damage right up there and then we can hit our finisher afterwards so shifting blades is going to make tranquility death touch and all that hit and then we go into our finisher 
All right. So let's say that we're just building up combo points again. And now Shifting Blades is back up. And our second burst macro is ready to go and we see a healer and we just want to make sure we go up and kill him. So we're going to, let's say we charge back in again. And now comes the absolute annihilation. You start hitting your second burst macro until you see your combo points go away, they'll fill up again, then they'll go away again because combat focus gives you three combo points and that's what makes this second burst macro really pop. All right, so bam, bam, bam. Look at that massive damage that comes up right there. That will absolutely destroy people, trust me. Uh, if you doubt it one bit, just go watch my one-shotting healer uh, video where I go up to a physician that's pretty much full life and I, I kill him instantly and they had like 30,000 life something like that so yeah this build is absolutely destructive and if you are at the point where you need to disconnect in any way you can of course hit your fleet of foot and take off running And be sure to use your debilitates and your uh, predictable movements, which is your stun, because that kind of stuff is going to help you out a lot with controlling people. And make sure you pay attention to immunities, uh, usually beside their health bar, uh, like the health bar above my character, you'll see whenever I'm immune to something because a little icon will pop up beside where it shows I'm level 60 or whatever. The little icon will show up there and start blinking. You need to watch for that on your opponent whenever you're doing your CCs. So you make sure you don't stack your CCs and they're immune to it. Or somebody else stunned them beforehand and now they're immune to it. You don't want to waste your CCs. So that's how you play this build. It's really simple and you will destroy people. I, I can't stress enough how much you're going to destroy people with this. So... But it is a build that if you have no healers at all, you may need to run like the Warlord Par uh, Paladin version. But don't run the Warlord Paladin version if you've got sufficient heals. Go over to the 61 Paragon because this is what's going to really help your team and put those opponents in the graveyard. The Warlord Paladin is really strong, but it, its damage isn't on par with 61 Paragon. This is going to be super bursty. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you are new to Rift, if you're just now re uh, creating an account or anything like that, be sure to look for the referral link, the Ascend a Friend link that I have in the description below because you get benefits such as an increased bag to uh, have on your character as well as some other benefits. I get some benefits, you get some benefits, it's a win-win, so... Make sure that you use my referral link if you are new to Rift. And we've got lots of good stuff down there in the description below. So check it out, guys. Too many of you guys pass up on it. And also, if you're interested in a guild, we are on Wolfsbane server. The guild is called Grimm's Reapers. And you can find us on the guild finder and join up with us. We do a lot of casual PvP. And if you're a healer, we really, really need you. We're at, we are always short on healers. So, and if you are not familiar with the giveaways that we do on our channel, there is a giveaway that is taking place from the last Saturday video, and there will be another giveaway on this upcoming Saturday video. We do a giveaway every Saturday, so make sure you're taking part in that as well. So as usual, my name is Grim, and I will see you guys next time.